Good evening, uh, fellow citizens. We address you a very, very late dinner uh, tonight, predominantly because we had some uh, technical you know, issues. But here we are. Before we make a presentation on did you know, we would like to start with delivering a statement on the just released grade 7 and grade 9 results. In 2016, when we in the UPP proposed to do away with the examinations that eliminate our children, Zambian children at grade 7 level, we were criticized. And it was the people of Zambia, you the people of Zambia, who were in the forefront to criticize us. You said education must just have a system to eliminate others. Only a few must progress to the next level. The people of Zambia said these things. And this culture, I think, has emerged in our country because we are used to suffering and we think that that is normal. Where suffering becomes normal. When you see something or when we are of something that, uh, that can work differently, we don't believe in that because we are resigned that this is our destiny. We must suffer. We must accept substandards. We were criticized that you, you ex we expect to have a pyramid. This was the argument of the people, that how can you have enough you know, classrooms to take all grade sevens when they, pro when they are progressed to go to the, to the eighth grade? You condemned us. Today, we commend the government for the first time in the history of our country allowing grade sevens to progress all of them countrywide to the eighth grade. Fellow citizens, we want to commend the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, Dr. Kalumba, is one of the most brilliant permanent secretaries that we have so far in Zambia. We've been following his debate. It's as if he has somehow, you know, laid his hand on the UPP manifesto. We have said time has come to change the education system in the country. We cannot continue with the same colonial you know, style of education because at that time there was what was called African education and it was poor quality education where the citizens of this country, our children, were only exposed to be learning about Vasco Damas, you learn about, about um, European history. Why are we learning about all these things? Why can't we learn about our history? What do European history do to you? How will the history of Canada, you learn about, about, uh, about cotton production in Canada, how will that help Zambia? This is laughable. Go to geography. You will find that all these subjects, some of what these subjects cover, cannot add value to this country's development. So we commend P.S. Kalumba, and we commend even the appointing authority for this kind of quality, you know, kind of, of, of appointment. We need more of such permanent secretaries. Permanent secretaries need not just be there getting huge allowances and huge pay. There must be results. These are controlling officers. These are chief executive officers of ministries. So I commend P.S. Kalumba once again. We want to say this, fellow citizens, that it's about time that our country set her priorities and the education system must answer our country's needs. We need to change the educational philosophy altogether as a country. We need to do a critical assessment of where we are as a country, identifying fields that are a priority. But at the same time, we also need to have an education system that produces learners who are explorers, who are going to explore, learners who are going to find solutions, learners who from the very beginning will be prepared to be active you know, participants in the building of our nation. That's what education ought you know, to do. That's what all of us must begin to advocate for. Fellow citizens, we in the UPP, a further, when you look at our policy, we propose that examinations must be moved from grade 9 to the 10th grade. We need to go back to the system that put examinations at the 10th grade because at the, by, by the time the child is grade 10, this child is around 16, 17, thereabout. It's very easy at that particular stage to have comprehensive assessments 
and be able to tell the strengths or the skills and inclinations of a child at that stage, at that level, at the level of a grade 10. So, the examinations that must take place at the 7th and the 10th grade under the PP policy must be count-based. The Department of Examinations at count level, that's the district level, this is the APP policy that we are talking about because we will take everything to the districts where the people are. There will be nothing to do with implementation at national level. All implementation will 100% go to where the people are. So the Department on Examinations at count level will examine you know, students at the, 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 the 11th, I'm sorry, 10th, uh, 7th grade, but those examinations are not for elimination. They are just meant to assess the students in order to uh, begin to place them in the fields where they can excel. The next level of examinations at count level, meaning these will not be standardized because each county, the Department of on Education will monitor the level of education in the district, the level of education in a given county. So the next level of examinations at the 10th grade level, that is form three, those examinations too will not be meant to eliminate the students. All of them will progress. What those examinations will do simply to identify those students that are going to be placed in classes where they will begin to earn practical skills, specializing in practical skills. You cannot force a child who cannot excel in physics to continue in that, in, in, in that area. So it means that for those that excel in some areas, then those are the ones that will be placed in classes where they will be prepared for college examinations. For those that uh, clearly show that they cannot excel in other subjects, we need to look at what they can do so that the department on practical you know, skills training, survival, practical skills training, at school level, they'll be placed in those classes. And by the time that they reach the, the, the 12th grade, which is form five, they are already ready to be employable because we also begin to look at employability. We don't want to offload students who are going to be on the streets without anything to do. And the Department of Labor, at count level, will connect to the industry. So by the time students are finishing, the industries that need certain you know, skills will be known, and those students will be linked. That will be the role of the Department of Labor at count level. For those students that are not able to find uh, you know, employment, but they have skills and they're employable, then they, they get the support from the Department of Commerce, because when it's crap of CEC, the Department of Commerce will be at count level. So resources will be right where the people are. Fellow citizens, this is the only way that Zambia is going to produce students who are industrialists, the students who are ready to serve the country. And this must be the, the goal. We need not to have an education system that produces people who are not ready to serve the country. So it must be about preparations. It must be about responding to the country's needs. And then for those who would have written the exam examinations, which will be now national, so at uh, Form 5 level, examinations will be national. And this will be meant to let these learners find you know, places in colleges and universities. For those that will have no places, all the same, they will have acquired practical skills just like for those who are put in streams for acquiring practical skills. So we need to be identifying the strength of students at a very you know, tender age. Fellow citizens, we the APP also want to say this very clearly that why should English be compulsory? We'll scrap off this notion of putting English. You have a student with a distinction in physics, distinction in, in chemistry, and then in English with a six or seven, you say this student can't go to the university. This is laughable. This is laughable. If this student understands the, the, the English of science, this student must progress. So this is what we propose. We'll be talking more on this sector. We want to prepare and speak to you on our usual series, daily series on Did You Know? Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Zambia.